gradual decline of the economy and the drop in the standard of living which contributed immensely to the increased number of school dropouts and the high rates of unemployment among youths which led many youths to become active participants in the drug culture formed part of the main findings in Sierra Leone's TRC reports. Although the country has made enviable gains in the education sector and increase in school enrollment, it lags behind in other areas, notably inflation as captured in the just-released 2023 MCC scorecard. There is also the issue of high standard of living, youth unemployment and drug abuse. I can see um, lack of employment, you know, unemployment which is causing so many problems now in Sweet because most of our young boys don't evolve in jobs, you know, the government has not been creating employment for us, you know, so that is, that is leading us to that, taking push drugs, you know, that has raising the drug abuse to another level. We do not have price control in this country. Everybody do things the way they want. So things are hard for us and we do not make much sales. The dollar rate keeps increasing. But these challenges, experts say, are not peculiar to Sierra Leone and cannot be blamed on the state alone, but rather happenings around the world. Despite that, a senior economist and lecturer at Fabe College University of Sierra Leone, Mohamed Ganawa, believes the country is suffering from exposure to a weak economic foundation. Thus, the revolution of economic challenges may lead to the disgruntlement and depression of youths, which may lead them to drug abuse. Serious economic hardship in any country then one thing that is sure of happening is what we refer to as revolution. We must have people that will feel disgruntled and these individuals will want to take on to uh, um, drug, abusing drugs like what is happening presently with the Kush issue where in so many young people want job, they don't have job. Each year we have thousands of people living different in different uh, institutions graduating, they don't have jobs. And also another critical thing when you have economic hardship you will observe that the level of um, thinking, understand, will be so minimal because so many people will be thinking of ways of getting their survival. And ways of getting their survival, they will do anything humanly possible in order for them to get their survival. Youths who consume these illegal substances believe they help them pass smoothly through the challenges they are facing in life. This way, don't take a, you need to get drink for both its first and stay for more. Psychiatric nurse Metron at the Sierra Leone Psychiatric Teaching Hospital, Anil Brimer, said there are immensely dangerous health and other complications to especially drug abuse. Socially, it is even affecting them. Physically, those drugs that have been added, these drugs are not for human consumption. For Mali or for Mali, it is used to embalm bones, and then somebody is inhaling it in your lungs. Your kidneys are going to be affected. Your lungs are going to be affected. Even other organs are going to be affected. So it's, it's, very, it's even a poison in your system. Habib Kamara, whose organization, Social Linkages for Youth Development and Child Link, work on rehabilitation of drug abusers, recalled that the TRC report noted that 85% of those who fought the country's civil war were substance users. He therefore called on government and other stakeholders to see drug abuse as a public health emergency issue that requires a multi-sectoral approach to ensure the demand and supply reduction of drugs in the country so that history will not repeat itself again. We need to have a rehabilitation center in this country. Whenever people have problems, they are taken to the KC Psychiatric Hospital. If we have a rehab home, that we administering certain drugs, naloxone, over um, opium overdose therapy, methadone, that will be better for this country. In fact, 
It is a recommendation of the TRC report that youths be actively involved in the political governance system of the country and be provided with employment and empowerment facilities in order to improve their productivity for a better nation. With support from MRCG and the Africa Transitional Justice Legacy Fund project, SLBC News R, Cecilia Sissi.